Got the lineup for Campion College, Alex James between the sticks. They're going with the back five of Asher Harrison, Marquise Steele, Brandon Muhammad, uh, Jaden Morgan, and Ethan Brown, Elijah White, and Nikolai Banton in the middle of the park. Banton from uh, Barbados, and uh, Jazz Les, the number 10, uh, will be behind Matthew Rule and Matthew Lloyd. Yeah, this campaign team, they play in a myriad of formations. Expect to see a lot of rotation in between their ranks. Let's see how Arden will line up to cope. Well, let's see. They, are, they will go with a 4-3-3 formation. Josh Adlam is in between the sticks. Ravane Bell, Javon Jackson, Romain Foster, and David Akanbi, the back four. Sean Reed, Alessandro Doshi, and Brandon Banton in the middle of the, middle of the park. While Denzel Allen, uh, Shaquille McDaniel, and Nashawn Reed will at the end of 90 minutes. As we take a look at the full time highlights here from Winchester Park. Ball sent inside the box, and this was a legitimately good goal, I felt, but the referee saw something, had blown the whistle, and then pointed to the spot. In the fourth minute, Banton converted. The Bayesian with his second goal this season from the penalty spot, and the Campion with an early lead. Campion kept firing on target. Adlam was equal to the task. Other times he even got injured in the process. That was a fabulous save, you know, from Adlam, moving smartly to his left, denying Jazz less. And Adlam putting that one around the post. This one played through. And, uh, and I felt that should have been a penalty. Was cut down inside the box. And the referee apparently did not see it. Then in the second half, Banton service inside looking for Jazz Less. It just evaded him. He knew it was pretty close, but he was arriving late there. Campion could have added, but Adlam again with a fabulous hand on it. It was Jazz Less again with the hit. And Adlam with a strong right hand. And then right at the end, a shot that was blocked. Goal saving. Yeah. It was going on target, but it was blocked inside the area. Uh, Campion held on. Campion College with five shots, five on target. Arden High with nine shots, just three on target, however. That's 13 fouls committed in the game and uh, three corner kicks apiece. And it was 50-50 the possession at the end of that contest. It's now time for the Dizel man of the match. He's with Jene and our good friend Kadeen Webley. Congratulations, Nikolai Banton. He's been presenting the Digicel Man of the Match Award by Kadeen Webley, the brand, junior brand manager of Digicel. Thank you, Kadeen. Nikolai, this is your second goal of the season. We had a talk before you came on camera. How, you told me how you felt before you took that penalty. Tell, me, tell the camera how you felt. Um, first, I have to thank God that I scored. And, but I put in the work on the training ground. I'm just glad I converted. But yeah, I was a bit nervous going into it, but I knew what I had to do. Well, you came off relatively early in the second half. Was there anything that resulted in the coach taking you off? Um, I had a bit of a cramp in my leg, but I, at the end of the day, it's just what he thought was best to get the win, which we did. 
Okay, how confident are you with Campion College this season? Yeah, we're, we're unbeaten in five games, I think, so we're going really well, but I think we still haven't reached our best. We haven't lived up to our coach's expectation yet. Okay, well, congratulations and thank you. All right, thank you. And now we'll welcome Coach Lloyd Terrellong, the coach of Arden High School. Coach, you haven't managed to make it out to the group stage, but you showed up today and you had a decent performance. How have you managed to keep the boys motivated? Well, um, we have a rival with Campion over, over the years before I was at Arden, so the boys were motivated to play Campion today. Well, Coach, you won the Manning Cup back in 1991. With, with the current program that you have today, do you think that some way, somehow, Arden will get back to that place of winning our next Manning Cup? Um, we have a, a, good, a good training program and a good system now put in place, so next year we'll see the fruits of, of that. Well, I saw a lot of Ardenites out here today. How supportive is the Arden alumni amidst the lack of progress in the group stage? Um, they're still with the team, you know, because we're, 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 we're reaching there. Okay, well, Coach, you have one more game to go. How do you sum up your season so far? It's not a bad season. The ups and downs got a whole heap of injury, but we'll pull through. Okay, well, thank you, Coach. Thank you, much. And now we welcome the head coach of Campion College. Coach, you're second on the table. You managed to score early in today's game. How pleased are you with today's result? I mean, we're happy with the result. Um, I look at disappointed with the performance. I think we have some young players getting used to playing on TV and even in the Manning Cup. So we, we're proud of them. Um, but you see, they have some things to work on. Well, Coach, we see the absence of last year's standout, Kai Miles. Do you think that there's a gap in the team this year? And if so, was that gap visible today? I mean, we lost about six of our starters from last season. I think we, they get a lot of opportunities overseas. Um, but we just have the next player moving up, so we have more 14, 15 years coming up. And I think they've done well so far. We're second in the table. Well, Coach, let's talk on a positive note. Campion's program has shown improvement in the recent years. What are some of the attributes you are seeing coming to the forefront this season? I mean, we see the players getting a lot more comfortable on the field. I think they are more confident. I think even a little bit too confident as we saw today. Um, but you see, it's just getting the kids playing a lot more football through our academy. But even in the school program, all the boys play a lot of football throughout the year, and it's now showing. Well, thank you, Coach. Congratulations. All right, Come, come, look one, look all. Which team are the best and are better than the rest? And if I hear team beat your chest, it's a schoolboy football. A team could rise and a team could fall. But they never will know until the whistle blows around. Come and join the show.